PHP Storm is, I think you'd agree, a pretty awesome tool. It provides stacks of functionality. When you're working with a file, oftentimes you want to know how did that file develop? And I guess if you're not a command line user, the last thing you want to do is drop to the command line and use git log and then provide the file to it and so forth and various parameters to say, tell me what, tell me how this file changed over the course of time. So it's awesome that you can do it from right within PHP Storm. And in this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can view the Git history of any file that you're working on. In this case here, you can see that I have a PHP file open. It's a pretty standard file, nothing much to sort of really talk about. Now let's just say I was interested in the development of this file and I kind of wanted to know when did I add this particular query here or if I've changed that query over time. So the first way we're going to do it is come up to the tab itself and right click on it, come down to Git, and then come up to show history. That pops up this Git log window where you can see that there are three changes for the file. Now, if I just expand that a little bit, we'll get a bit more of the message. And you can see here, here's the first commit. And so we scroll down through the file. I believe I've taken this from another project. And you can see, where are we? Here is the query, pretty kind of uninteresting, a very basic select query. Now let's have a look in the second commit. And you can see here, this is where I've done most of the work because I've changed it from the basic select query to a much more interesting one with two inner joins. And I've changed the order by aspect as well. Now, did I change it in the third one? So then you can come up, nope, I haven't changed it at all. Something else was, or sorry, the database configuration of the DSNs changed in that commit. So, just to reiterate, you can see here, you can quickly skip through. If this was a much more complex file, you'd see a much longer list of commits there. But as well as listing the commits, what you can also do is change how you view the changes themselves, which you probably are familiar with if you've used different tools such as source tree or get from the command line with tools such as I believe Kaleidoscope, uh, Meld and KDIF. You can see here, this is the unified view. Let's go back to a more interesting commit. And the unified view is where you see one change after another. I don't really work that way. I like to have a side-by-side -side view because I just, I just kind of find it easier to sort of uh, interpret what's going on. You can also choose uh, what you want to ignore, such as ignoring white space, white spaces, empty lines, and so forth and what you're going to highlight. So there are a range of options and some more here as well that help you configure PHP Storm on the fly and you can put these into the overall application settings that help you, what would you say, view the Git log in the way that is most meaningful, helpful and efficient to you. Now, if I just close this, another way that we can view the git history for a file is firstly by opening the project file view and you'll see that the current file is highlighted there already and then as before come down to git come up to show history and the same window opens so that's two ways you can view the git history for an entire file in php storm if you like the video please give me a thumbs up it lets me know which videos you're interested in if you like the content overall on the channel, I love it if you'd subscribe. Really awesome, it does wonders for sort of motivation. Otherwise, if you like content like this, keep an eye out for the next video or view more of the videos in the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.